Hey everyone, it's Guilherme, and in this series we are going to create our first 3D game using the Godot Engine version 3.1. In this series we are going to cover the basics to get you started with 3D in Godot, and whether you just want to get started with this aspect of Godot or game dev in general, you are in the right place. Keep in mind that if you are a beginner, you should already know how to program because we are not going to cover this in this series. To begin with, we need to download the Godot engine. The usual would be to go to the Godot engine website into the download section and download the engine from here. But as of the time of the recording of this video, the version 3.1 is not yet released. It's in a beta stage and because of that, we're going to have to head to another website to download this version. But maybe depending on the time that you are watching this video, the version 3.1 is already released and you can download it from here. If not, you're going to have to go to downloads.tuxfamily.org slash engine slash 3.1 slash beta 1. That is the latest version that we have available to us right now, but maybe when you are watching this video, there is another beta, or as I said before, the version 3.1 is already released. You can find this link in the description of the video because I know it's going to be hard to type it. And here you have to find the version for your system. In my case, it's going to be Windows 64, so I can download the windows64.exe.zip. After the download has been completed, you can extract the contents of the zip file somewhere in your machine and you can open the engine. I have some projects open here, but in your case, you're not going to have any project and the engine is probably going to ask you to import some template. You can cancel that because we're going to create our own project. Now you have two options. You can either create your own project using the new project button and here you can give it a name and choose where you want to start that project or you can import a project that we have prepared for you. This project contains a few assets that we're going to use, but if you decide to create your own project, you can then later on add your own assets to the project. To get the one that we prepared for you, you can head to the GDQuest Godot Engine Tutorial Demos repository on GitHub, and under the 2019 folder, you're going to find the first 3D game, and here in the start folder, you're gonna find the boilerplate for our project. And to get this into your machine, you're going to go back to the repository and here you can clone or download this project. You can download it as a zip or if you are familiar with Git, you can always just clone the repository into your machine. I already have it in my machine and extracted, so what I'm going to do is import this project inside of Godot. Here right below the new project, I'm going to click on import and then you can click on browse to find the directory where you start the start project. To make it easier, I already copied the path, so I'm just going to control V here in the project path and click on import and edit. This is the default interface of Godot and I'm going to quickly run you through it so you get familiar with it. What you see right in the middle here is your viewport and here is where you're going to start placing the objects for your game and interacting with them. Right now we are on the 3D view but we also have the 2D view and the script view and also the asset lib that we are not going to touch right now. I'm going to go back to the 3D view and to move around here, we can use our mouse using the middle mouse button to rotate our camera, scroll up and down to zoom in and out, and shift plus the mouse wheel to pan around. On the left, we have our scene, and here is a menu where we are going to be able to see what nodes we have inside of our scene. The file system right below it is a file explorer where we can see the files that we have inside of our project. And on the other side, on the right, we have the inspector that allows us to interact with what we have selected, whether it's a node or file inside of our file system. And these are the tabs that you are mostly going to interact when creating a project using Godot. Now, before we finish, we have to configure our project. And to do so, we're going to head to project and click on project settings. Scroll down a little bit until you find the window under display. And here we are going to configure the resolution of our game. As of now, it's configured to be 1024 by 600 and we're going to change it to be 1280 by 720. You can scroll down to the bottom and here we're going to configure the stretch mode of our game. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what this does because we already have a video covering that, but we're just configuring how we want our game to behave when the window gets stretched. On the mode, you can set it to 2D and the aspect we can set it to keep. Now we can close this window and it's already saved, we don't have to save anything. And with this in place, we can already start to develop our game. If you have the repository in your machine, you can always play around with the finished version of this project to see what it's going to look like. But I'm going to show it to you nonetheless just to give you an idea of what we are going to develop here. Here is the final product of our game and it is a maze that you have to find your way through and by the end, 
you're gonna know how much time it took you to get to the finish of the maze. And by touching this pink ball, you are greeted with a message of success, your total time, and then you can either exit the game or try again. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.